Hello everyone. Today we'll be reading Norton and Alpha by Christina Litton. Norton was a collector. Battered wheels, rusty cogs, broken spheres. They all found their way to Norton's collection. But best of all, were the things Norton didn't have a name for. Norton found interesting things almost everywhere he looked. They were rarely beautiful, but they were usually useful. And from what he found, big or small, Norton made the most amazing inventions. One day, Norton found something interesting he couldn't name. He attached it to his latest project and stood back. It was perfect. Norton decided to call the project Alpha. Now Norton had a companion to help with his collecting. Alpha would follow his little robot nose off down unknown paths. He dug holes, scurried into small, unreachable places, and delved into unexplored spaces, and found all sorts of wonderful things. One Tuesday morning, Alpha's nose felt slightly odd. It tickled and tingled and led him to something very unusual. Norton was baffled. It was unlike anything he had ever seen before. But what was it? Norton and Alpha were determined to find out. So with a bit of effort, they picked it and set off on their way home. Norton held on to it very tightly. He didn't take his eyes off it for a moment except to climb the ladder up to his house. Norton went straight into his workshop. He did all his usual experiments. He oiled it. He tried plugging it in. He even x-rayed it. But that confused Norton even more. It didn't seem useful at all. It also didn't look nearly as interesting as it had when they first found it. So Norton threw it out of the window. For the rest of the day, Norton and Alpha tidied up the mess left over from their experiments. They found a little round something that it had left behind. Norton decided to keep it. Maybe one day he would find a use for it. On Wednesday, it was far too wet to go out collecting. But Alpha still needed his exercise. On Thursday, it was extremely hot. Norton and Alpha spent most of the day trying to keep cool. But on Friday, it was a perfect day for treasure hunting. The weather was glorious. So Norton made sure they had a hearty breakfast. Then he oiled up their joints and got everything ready for a full day's collecting.
they ran to the doors and flung them open and what they saw was beautiful Norton and Alpha bounced and jumped among the field of its. They collected up lots of its and carried them home. Norton forgot about trying to find out what it was or what it was for. But one thing he did know was. It's made him smile. That was Norton and Alpha by Christina Litton. Bye-bye, everyone.